Hello, kindergarten. This is Miss Bowen. I'm glad you came back for another art lesson. Today, we're going to be learning about this big word right here. This word is pattern. So, we see patterns a lot in life. We see them in our math classes, and we see them a lot in our clothing. And clothing is actually a form of art, the way people weave cloth together to make things. I have some winter scarfs here I want to show you. This one right here is one of my favorite scarfs that I wear during the winter and you can see all the different patterns that are on here. So let's talk about what pattern is. You can have a pattern with lines. Do you see the lines in this one? It's like stripes. And then inside each of the stripes there's different types of art, different designs. Okay. We also can have pattern in color do you see a pattern here to the colors? It's gray, black, white, and red. And then we can have pattern in the shapes too. Look at uh, this one right here. These are triangles. These would all be rectangles. So we can have all different ways that we show pattern. This one just happens to have them all inside of one. So today we're gonna draw something that's associated with winter. We're going to draw us a winter mitten, but before we start that, get you a sheet of paper. Any kind of paper is fine. You can use a pencil or a crayon, whatever you happen to have. And here in the corner, I want you to write your name. I'm going to write mine. Remember, my name is Miss Bowen. And then I need you to put an AT if you're an Austin Tracy student. And I need you to put TH if you're a Temple Hill student. And then you're going to put a K there because you're kindergarten. Okay? Today we're learning about pattern, and in order for us to be successful, we got to be able to draw something that demonstrates line patterns, color patterns, and shape patterns. Okay? Now, if you don't have crayons where you can do patterns in color, look at this pattern. Red, orange, red, orange. If you don't have crayons with you because we're all having to be stuck at home, it's okay. You don't have to have color inside of yours. We're all just doing the best we can do. So let's draw us a mitten. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. Take your little hand, put these four fingers together, and leave your thumb out here by itself. Turn it sideways on your paper. Use your other hand, and I want you to trace around it. Now you're going to go around the fingers and then around your thumb. See how I did that? You don't have to show each little individual finger. You're just going to do it rounded. This is a mitten. Mittens don't have the finger holes in them like a glove does. And we've drawn a big mitten that way. If I'm going too fast, make sure you pause your video, okay? Now, let's do some line patterns in our mitten. Let's start with the thumb. I'm just going to draw two lines so that I have two sections there on my thumb and I'm going to do the same thing across the top of the mitten and down throughout the mitten and I'm just going to make it look similar to the one that I showed you with all the different patterns in it and let's do some patterns on this glove let's start with some line patterns we'll do that in in this part here Let's go straight, wavy, straight, wavy, straight, wavy. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Let's do it in this big section here, too. We can use the lines on our paper to help us. Let's do straight, wavy, straight, wavy, straight, wavy, straight, wavy. Straight, wavy, straight. What comes next? Wavy, straight, wavy, straight, wavy, straight, wavy. Remember, if I'm too fast, pause the video, take your time on it. Now, let's do something else. Let's do a shape pattern you want to. This one's got triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle, what would come next? 
A square, that's right, it's a pattern like the kind we see in math. Sometimes in math and geometry, they'll have you working on those patterns like that. What would come next? So let's try that over here. Let's do, um, well, let's just do what we had here on our learning intentions. Let's do triangle, circle, square. Triangle, circle, how about that all right now let's come up with something else uh, let's do some hearts let's do some shapes everywhere other than just squares and circles so over here on this one you know your pattern cannot be having to change it just can be hearts all the way down so let's do hearts all the way down this part And let's go back over and do the same thing with just hearts in our thumbs. Just repeating the hearts is also a pattern. And let's do more hearts over here. If hearts are hard for you to draw, I want you to do a V. Put a little dot below it. And then just round it out to make it come down there to you, okay? V dot. Draw to make it. Draw to make it. Just do the best you can. I don't expect perfection. I just expect you to try. All right? And let's do our line pattern up here again. Let's do straight, curvy, straight, curvy, straight, curvy, straight, curvy, straight. That's a good looking winter mitten. I like the pattern on it. I hope this helps you understand what pattern is. And like I say, if you have crayons, you can use colors now, and you can make a pattern with the color. If you don't have crayons, it's okay. No big deal. I'm still going to give you credit for the assignment. It won't have to be colored. Now, a lot of our students do not have a device that will take a picture. So, all you have to do is hit the word submit, and I'll know that you did the assignment, and I'll give you credit for it. You won't have to send me a picture. If you are able to send a picture and you want to, then you know you can either take it with that device and put it there on Google Classroom, or your parents can take a picture with their phone or something and email it to me, and that email address is there on the site as well. So lots of ways you can turn your work in to me, but I'm telling you, if you'll just hit submit, I'm still going to give you credit because we are all just doing the best we can do. I hope you had fun with this. And I hope we get some snow where you get to put on a mitten and go outside and build a snowman. Have a good day, kindergarten.